Hi YouTube. This is a short video to demonstrate how you can use uh, open broadcasting software OBS to change your backgrounds in Skype or Zoom or any other software that uh, is used for video conferencing. Now <clears throat> OBS, of course, is well known. It's been out there for a very long time and there's countless tutorials on YouTube. Um, but what apparently not everybody knows is that you can use OBS or the output, the video output that OBS produces uh, and you can use that as your virtual, as a virtual camera for Skype, for instance, or Zoom, uh, allowing you to switch backgrounds. So just want to show you how that's done. Um, what you need is a certain plugin, of course, and just to demonstrate for those of you who are new to this, don't know what I'm talking about. So I'm right now I'm sitting in front of my bookshelf in my office. I can switch that instantly and go to, let's say, my log home here or my weekend getaway cabin, <laughs> so I wish. Um, or I could be sitting in a newsroom like right here. Or I could be even better making this video in front of the open window of my beach house right here and be talking to you from there. So this is all very simple to do in OBS, of course, but how do you get this video output onto your Skype camera or Zoom? So this is how it's done. Let me just switch to my monitor here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, let me drag this out of the way. So let's put it on my other screen here. Okay, what you need is you go to OBS, uh, the OBS website, obsproject.com. Of course, you need to download OBS first. Um, I got the Windows one. I'm not downloading it now because I'm already I already have it. Actually, I'm making this video with OBS. So, But what you need to do is you go here to Forums. And once you're there, up here in Resources, you click on there. And then move over to OBS Studio Plugins right here. So once you click on that, it takes you to several pages of plugins. And once you're there, you search for... Um, the virtual camera plugin. When I'm uh, at the time I'm doing this video, the plugin is on page two, so I'll just go there right now and scroll down. So here it is. You can see OBS Virtual Cam version 204. So just click on that and follow the links all the way to uh, wherever the download is. So right now it's here under the install section. You go to release page and that brings you to this page right here. And here's the installer or a zip file. Either one would work. So let me go back to my monitor here and show you what happens after you install the plugin. Let me get this over here again. All right, here we are. Um, I'll just disable the preview here, make it less distracting. So once you install that plugin, it uh, it gives you the option to install up to four um, virtual cameras. I only installed one. And once it's installed, then it gives you a new menu item under tools here, which is right down here, virtual cam. And that opens this dialog box which allows you to some control over your virtual camera and <clears throat> it also um, enables the virtual camera for the computer system so you can feed it into any other software program like Skype or Zoom for example so let me show you what happens in Skype let's open Skype right here and go to the settings um, audio video. Let me pull this over here so it's less distracting. So right here, this is my camera that I pick for Skype and after installing the plugin, another camera becomes available which is the OBS camera right here. So I click on that 
And now my feed is coming from the virtual camera from OBS. However, it's grayed out because the virtual cam is not running yet. So I'll have to turn it on right here. You can start it. Okay. Let me turn back the preview back on too so I can show you better what's what I'm doing here. As you can see, the um, the output on the, that feeds into Skype is a mirror image of the real thing. That doesn't matter in as far as I know or found out. Um, when you broadcast in Skype and you broadcast your video feed, it will be the right way around. It just appears um, backwards here. If that is a problem, however, then what you can do is you can go into your virtual cam over here in OBS and just tick this box right here and say horizontal flip. And as you can see, that flips my image in Skype over here on the left side. So you can do that. I'll, I'll leave it flipped for now so that they're both the same um, for this video. Okay. Uh, now, once you got your OBS camera feeding into Skype, then you can change the backgrounds again, right? So I can go back to my my office right here, okay, and yeah, or the newsroom, right, or beach window, of course. I have to make myself bigger and get myself right in the middle. Uh, okay, but in order to do that, to key out your background, you need a green screen. So let me show you what I do there. I have to go back to my monitor so you can see what I'm doing. Um, okay, so you go to your camera. Mine is Logitech Brio, so I right click on there. And you have to add filters. Okay, so open the filters. And as you can see, I currently have two filters that I'm using, uh, the chroma key filter, filter and the crop filter. You add those filters by clicking the little plus sign down here and that gives you all these options to add filters. Um, if I turn off the chroma key, then you will see the real background, which is green. If I turn off the crop pad, the crop, uh, you will see what the camera is actually looking at and what my office looks like. So this is what reality looks like right now. I'm actually sitting in my office, but in front of this green screen. And uh, the crop here allows you to crop away the edges, right? So I can change these here. 300 works for me to get rid of the right side and my top. I usually, I use 250 in my case, All right, And that gives me a nice cutout. Okay, so let's turn that back on again. And then we're back to what we want to do. Now, somehow this moved, as you can see, it's not centered in Skype anymore. So I have to move this back right there. Okay, now we're right on again. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And that's how you change your your backgrounds in, in Skype and in Zoom. So that's it for my beautiful beach house. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this and it works for you. So this is the green screen I'm using. Little pop-up one uh, that I got from Amazon. It's really nice because it takes out all the the folds and creases. It's blue on one side and green on the other. So you can also use it outside or in other settings when green won't work. And I got a little stand right here and that's what I use to hold it up. So that's pretty much it.